Welcome back. Today we're looking at some of the best new UX UI resources and tools for the month of October 2023. Some of these are from our beloved companies like Adobe, Figma, and some are from some very unknown secretive organizations. So let's just get started. This is the color palette of your dream created by Figma. This is not inside the tool, but you can get it on their website right here. I'll have a link. Figma has created their own color wheel inside the browser. You can choose between the nature of the colors and the color palette. So in this case, if you choose a monochromatic color, it will choose multiple shades of that color that you've chosen. Or if I choose something like a, like a reddish pinkish color, it will give me more pinkish reddish uh, shades that I can use together. Apart from the color wheel itself, they've given a complete theory of how color wheels work and how you can make them work in your projects. So I think that is, this is a nice little read apart from the tool itself. Now the coolest part about this is that if I click on open in Figma right here under the color palette, it will go ahead and open the same color palette up inside Figma. So it'll create a new project for me. It will then import the colors right here and it opens up the plugin as well right here yes they have a plugin to go along with it so if you don't want to use the website you can use the plugin as well love how it just imported it from that website here i don't know how they do it but it's pretty cool honestly most ai is useless for ui and ux designers it's great for graphic designers and illustrators but this one called recraft is generative AI for creative professionals. Instead of designing artwork, this tool specializes in designing things like logos, icons, and illustrations for your UI projects. It's also able to create things like print media and packaging design, and it creates vector graphics that you can reuse in Figma, Adobe XD, whichever tool you like. Once you open the tool, you are actually welcomed by this really cool artboard right here. You can, of course, see around and see what it has to offer. So if I want to create, say, an icon for a home screen in for my UI design, so I just click on L on my keyboard, drag out to create a selection or an area right here. I have the prompt window. So inside this, I can actually write a prompt. Home screen icon is what I'm looking for for my UI designs. And I can even choose the style. So I want like an illustrative style. And I can even give the level of depth, what should and should not be included, and then click on recraft. This, as you can see, has now magically created a home icon for me that I was looking for. I can edit this quickly according to my style. So I can always do things like removing the background. So if this has a white background, it will remove that background. I can even vectorize this. That means it will be an editable vector that I can export to any tool that I like. And as you can see, every color is now editable since it is a vector right here. I think this is a wonderful companion tool for Figma and other tools to create quick graphics, icons, images, illustrations for your UI designs. And this is much easier to use and much better to use than other AI tools in the market right now. Design systems is one of the most crucial topics in the UX UI space, which a lot of us don't understand. Design systems media is a website which collects design system videos, tutorials, speakers, events, everything into one platform or dashboard. You can see there are speakers, so I can even choose from people who I like or people who I follow. Then apart from that, you also get popular events happening in the future or the upcoming future. It's an all-in-one place for everything design systems. <laughs> okay, so AI magic, which is actually useful, Johnny I Beta. Those who get the joke, get the joke, but apart from the joke, the tool itself is pretty useful. If I say, try it out, what it can do is extremely useful and helps you out in your design process. So it has various features, including typography. So it can fix type, font sizes, equalize things, even add data where there is empty spaces or less data included. You can even fix colors, etc. So if there was an inconsistency in one of the colors out of hundreds of designs, it can fix that immediately by recognizing your designs. You can create proper documentation for your UI designs as well, which a lot of people struggle with. As you can see, if I give it permission to kind of check my file, it will check everything that is a discrepancy or it could be an issue with the design. A lot of us are trying to become freelance designers, either on the side or as a main career path. Now, freelance pizza, believe it or not, is one of these central resources that you can start learning to freelance. And it also has essential resources for you as well. 
For example, there is a playbook which kind of is structured like a complete A to Z course of freelancing. You can get a free sample or pay for the whole thing. That's up to you. There are also a bunch of free resources and guides for each and everything from slides and presentations to decks to pricing guidelines, etc. And you have a self assessment test. So it kind of is a test to check out how you are faring as a freelancer and if you know enough about freelancing to get started. So have their paid content. I think it's a pretty cool guide if you're actually wanting to invest in your freelance career. It's $19 a month, so it's not that big of a deal and it's pretty cool. This is one of those tools I include because it's super fun, maybe not that useful for everyone. So this is called AI emojis and it essentially allows you to type in a prompt and it will create an actual emoji for you. So if I type in man eating pizza, if we're talking about pizzas and press enter, look at this little guy right here, a man holding an actual pizza emoji and eating it. How cool is this? And how cool will this be in your UI design projects? Look at this. Imagine having a project with these custom emojis. This will create such a good impression. Adobe Max event is one of the biggest design events of the year. This year, they actually introduced a dress that uses 3D technology, light, etc. to create a dress that can change its design pattern and shape, which I think is exceptionally cool. And this Verge article summarizes everything that we saw at the event with some actual videos and actionable elements like removing a window tint from a photo. Seems very difficult even for the best Photoshop guys, but this is actually a thing that AI will do in the future. You guys are gonna get 24 design gifts this winter. 24 days before Christmas, every day, Framer and Fonzmans are gonna give away one design resource tool generally paid for absolutely free. This is incredible and once in a year experience or once in a year opportunity. This will be worth thousand plus dollars. Sign up, it's super simple. Just say set a jingle bell, type in your email and then you'll get a daily reminder for 24 days right before Christmas. Builder.ai is the tool of the future because now with AI, they are converting your Figma designs into actual useful editable code. The cool thing is that there is a plugin. You can quickly export any project as code. This of course gets exported as an actual website or an app inside their editor like Webflow or Framer. You can then go ahead and customize each code individually as well in whichever coding language you want. Thing is you don't even have to know how to code you can chat with their ai tool and the best part is you can then export as a website launch as a website or as an app right from this editor itself and this is completely free for now so i mean get the opportunity in the future it will be paid right now it's in beta so get the opportunity and see for yourself what this tool is capable of thousand tools which is aiming to list some of the best tools out there in the market a thousand of the best tools and nothing more, nothing less. You can get a tool for any requirement as well, as well as it shows you any deals that these tools have. So if there's a discount on one of these paid tools, you can see it. And if you have a tool that you are developing, you can always submit it and who knows, it makes the list. This month I've written an extensive article around my experience as a AR VR designer. Yes, I was an AR VR designer in my early years of design. And a lot of people are getting into spatial design. So I thought, let's write this, the realities, the behind the scenes and everything that happens to you as a designer in an AR VR space. I mean, go check it out. It's a brand new article I've written. I'm sure you're going to gain a lot of value out of it. And this will be something that you can save and keep in your library on Medium. That was it for today, guys. Short and sweet. If you like this one, a thumbs up would make my day. And a subscribe would make my year. I mean, it's almost the end of the year. See you next week, same time, same place. Until next time, take care. God bless.